in this video, we're now going to take a look at how to scan the right adrenal gland. The right adrenal gland lies between the right kidney and this time the vena cava. Remember that the aorta lies to the left of the body in the abdomen, dorsal abdomen, and the vena cava lies to the right. So the right kidney is adjacent to the vena cava, left kidney is adjacent to the aorta. <clears throat> First of all, find the right kidney uh, in much the same fashion as you would find the left. Just bear in mind that the right kidney tends to hide a little bit more cranially than the left. And so many dogs may be or will be subcostal. So you may have to use an intercostal approach. In uh, this dog, in Ash, I am actually able to image his right kidney here in uh, dorsal plane by using a subcostal approach. And if you can, you may find that a little easier because you don't get rib shadowing. Once you find the right kidney, what we're then going to do, trying to get it on the center of the image. He's taking a big breath and then we're going to fan dorsally off the dorsal border of the kidney and then keeping that kidney in the center of the image we're just going to fan gradually back the way we came so ventrally. The first large vessel we come to we can just see on the screen here is the aorta and then as we fan more ventrally we'll see another vessel once we've got that intestinal gas has moved out of the way we'll see another vessel just here appearing on the screen a little, little bit after a little bit more fanning ventrally and that's our vena cava. Once we've found the vena cable, we're going to stop, then we're going to go back the way we came again, and this time we're just going to be looking for the adrenal gland popping up in the image before we get back to the aorta. So tiny fanning movement just off the uh, vena cava, and just there we can see, although we are getting some intestinal gas shadowing here, you can just make out the uh, right adrenal gland. If we just wait for a minute for that intestinal gas to disappear, and there, just popping into the image now, having just fanned off the vena cava, is our right adrenal gland. You can see if I fan ventrally again, that brings in the vena cava. If I fan dorsally, there's our right adrenal gland. And then below it and to the right is the aorta. So it's sort of line between the two. Off to the left of the image is uh, the right kidney, although it is just out of the plane of the image here at the moment. You can see how intestinal gas can get in the way of visualizing that right adrenal gland. Similarly, if you've got an obese dog, it can make visualizing that right adrenal gland quite hard. It's more difficult to find the right adrenal gland as hopefully you can see on these videos. And it's of the two glands, it's the, the less commonly or least commonly seen. So if you're really struggling with it, don't worry too much, keep practicing. And, and again, try starting with the left one because it's usually the more readily seen of the two. So just to run through that one more time, start in the dorsal, getting a dorsal plane image of the right kidney, subcostally if necessary, uh, sorry, intercostally if necessary, subcostally if you can. Then we're going to fan dorsally off the dorsal border of the right kidney, fan back ventrally. The first vessel we come to there, which is pulsatile, is the aorta. Keep fanning ventrally. There we pick up the vena cava. And then we're going to fan back the way we came, so back dorsally a little bit. Just bear in mind we've got that intestinal gas and there, just on the image, we can see creeping in and out below that intestinal gas, there is our right adrenal gland. And hopefully if we freeze that, we can get a reasonably nice there, image of the right adrenal gland just as that intestinal gas has passed away.